Have you ever wondered how to find your style? Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Marilyn and through my podcasts, I share my advice about self-improvement and wellness to inspire you and take you on the road to well-being, no matter where you start. Let's talk about your style today. I consider style to be part of your self-improvement. Actually, I wasn't very interested by this subject for years. I found it difficult to find pieces that I really like to wear. It's still the case today, but things are easier nowadays thanks to the internet. I recently watched many videos on YouTube concerning how to dress, etc. And I realized how important it is to pay attention to this. Actually, people judge by appearance. That's a fact. We judge what we see. So we have to admit that we won't be treated the same way if we present ourselves with a neat look compared to a neglected look. It's part of the game. By the way, if you're very well dressed, people will respect you more. It's a good thing, but the most important thing is that you feel good in your clothes and that your style reflects your personality. We rarely find our style at a young age. It's obvious that we evolve a lot afterwards. It will take years before we will find that kind of feeling of perfect harmony. It usually happens at 30 years old. So how to do this? Well, first, you have to count on you and on those who love you when you need an outside look. I'll give you my advice, even if I'm not a specialist. I've noticed that people who love fashion adopt a series of rules. They often dress in a very chic way, but I find that it edges them a lot. So maybe you'll like my advice as a person who dresses simply. The good news is that we can find beautiful clothes at any budget. Don't be afraid if it seems that nothing suits you. Actually, it's because it can take a long time to find nice clothes. Look around you and observe what you find beautiful and what you like. Then you'll have a list of the types of clothes that you want to try and to buy if they suit you. To be inspired, you can also do research on the internet and see the photos of many styles and you can copy and paste the looks you like on a file. You can make categories. For instance, if your research is about a black skirt, you'll see many photos about looks that contain a black skirt. If your eyes stay a long time on a look, it's probably that you like it. Keep the photos that you like and do the same with all the rest. For instance, white shoes, brown coat, skinny jeans, blue scarf, etc. Then you'll begin to discover the different styles that you really want to wear. About the colors, you know that not every color can suit you well. In general, warm colors like yellow and orange go to the brunettes and colors like pastel, gray, beige, brown and purple are more suitable for blondes. But you have to try them in front of a mirror and see if your complexion is brightening or fading. With a little practice, you'll know exactly what colors make you stand out. Normally, red, black and white work for everyone. And if you want to look chic, wear white. Then, if you want your figure to be well-balanced, dress according to your morphology. It can be useful to correct an imbalance or at least not to accentuate it. You have tons of tutorials on YouTube on this point, so you should easily learn the closing shapes that will give you the best possible silhouette. When you put on an outfit, watch out for bad taste. Check that everything is well coordinated. Even if you think that it's not your stuff, you should still notice when something is wrong or if it's weird. For instance, white shoes with black tights. It's weird. It's not good. It's bad taste.
Very sophisticated people pay attention to all the details, but I don't want to pressure you. Stay cool when you are with your friends and family. I'm sure that when you are with your friends, you don't even bother how they are dressed because what matters is their presence. However, in other situations, I advise you to really take care of your look. For instance, at work, very often there is a dress code. Respect it. Play the game. You will be taken more seriously. People will feel that you are involved and competent. Moreover, finding your style will help you develop your self-confidence. Well, it's just a beginning. If you need to have more self-confidence, dress well and it will help you a lot. But you know, you can be simple and have great style. By the way, very smart people dress very simply but with very sophisticated clothes. Let's talk about shopping. I don't know if you prefer to shop locally or online. I discovered the joy of shopping online, especially when we can see many photos of the clothes or even a video of the person wearing them. I suggest you buy only what you need when you shop and what suits you perfectly. You know what I mean? We'll try to reduce the times that we buy something we'll never wear. Stay focused, be wise. For instance, if you need a new dress, find it and don't look at something else. You won't have extra things in your wardrobe or things that you have planned to wear when you lose weight. Finally, sometimes you succeed to come up with really awesome looks. The perfect layout. Well, take a picture of you in case you think that this look could be useful for another day in the future. Because you will certainly forget what you did that day and you don't want to do the same job again and again. I hope you liked this video. Feel free to share your advice about finding your style. Please like and share the video. Tell me if you are interested by a specific topic. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It would make me really happy. See you in another podcast. Bye.